Good morning. This is Friday the 30th of September 2011. It's Jerome Nugent Smith speaking to you from Melbourne, Australia. Today I want to talk briefly about 2012 global economic recession. That's right. I believe that in 2012 global economies will spiral once again as they did in 2008 and 9 into a global economic recession. Only this time it will be more prolonged and more severe. There are a number of fundamental reasons for this. Firstly, that the underlying problems that existed prior to the 2008-2009 global economic recession, which came with global financial crisis version 1, still exist. The second reason is that not only do these key fundamental economic issues still exist, but in many cases and in a lot of countries the situation is, is economically substantially worse. For example, in the US not only has this economic situation not improved since 2007-8, it has got fundamentally worse. And there are several reasons for this. One, the US deficit, both internal and external deficit, has blown out substantially. Two, unemployment has not come down. If anything, it, it has increased. Three, the US um, debt um, is now at unsustainable levels and the Americans don't have the political will to fix their economic problems. With regard to Europe, well, the Eurozone, in my opinion, is a fundamentally flawed economic model. Many countries, in fact, one could say most countries in the Eurozone, are economic basket cases. All, you know, one is familiar with the, the, the issues of Greece, Spain, Portugal, Ireland, and so on. But less, less important but nonetheless relevant because they are members of, of um, the European Union and the Eurozone in many cases are, are countries in the Baltic states for example and other countries. So I can't see that the situation um, improving um, at all over the next, over the coming you know, few months. I think that if one was to have the advantage of, of hindsight, I think you'll find that there are some countries that are probably already in a recession, whether they're technically in a recession, but certainly um, I believe that the US is basically either in a recession or, or on the cusp of it. So it really doesn't matter in terms of the actual statistics. What is important is how that's pl being played out in global economic markets and the impact on stock markets. So my prediction is that once we start rolling into 2012, certainly by the middle of next year, we will well and truly know that once again, unfortunately, the global economies have gone and spiralled downwards into another more severe and more prolonged global economic recession. Thank you very much.